Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 5.0 or 5.1, 5.0.1 the right way. This is pretty easy to do, but a lot of the t tutorials don't show you this. So, the first thing you need to do, open up your browser, and you're going to need to go to here. Now, here's a, right when you get here, you think you're going to go straight to there, and you're going to go here, and you don't see... 5.0 or you know you just see 5.0.1 well right below that it's kind of in big letter download ISO 5 below so choose the one you know that you're gonna use for me it's this and then save it to a location you know so once that or once it's gone go just search red snow and go to dev team blog now once you go to dev team blog just gonna get this and go to red snow beta now once you get here scroll down till you see the download links so choose one choose the one that you're gonna use for me it's windows and then save it <clears throat> so after all that finishes and after you download 5.0 and also you if you have your ipod to 5.0.1 you can upgrade it in iTunes I believe because that's the official version right now or you can um, use this so once that once you finish all that go to your desktop open up a red snow go extras select IVSPW 5.0 see it's identified meaning it's it's gonna work so go back jailbreak now this is just the same as all the others but this is tethered by the way which means yeah every single time you like turn it off you need to go into here or if like e that even counts for if you're on Cydia it says you need to reboot to get this plugin or add-on you have to do this so just you know do whatever you don't need this I don't believe so but I'm just doing this for example so you get this DFU mode pretty easy you just follow these instructions and it should work and make it if this is like your first time it may take you a few tries but it's pretty simple so once all that finishes and you should see like all the coding and then a pineapple will be running you're gonna see after all that finishes you'll see the apple logo and it'll hit the apple and it'll just be not even doing anything like the nothing and you'll just keep booting and booting it like just gets stuck in the boot so what you need to do is select IPSW then just boot and then go into DFU mode and then it'll boot it, boot it up so that's about it and I hope I helped you and I hope this worked if it doesn't just leave a comment below and uh, yeah